Hey family, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasa, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And I'm also the Creole Grill Test. While I'm on my way in Galveston, Texas, <laughs> and getting me some more Chinese rice, or whatever rice, fried rice, shrimp fried rice. Huh, this place don't even look. Oh, it's open. Hold on, I gotta go on. Well, guys. I ordered my shrimp fried rice, but I learned my lesson from last time. Instead of ordering a small, I ordered a large so I can have a couple of meals on it. And then it'll be more reasonable because <laughs> I could use it at least for two meals, you know, the large. Maybe even three. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to sit in the car and wait. They're busy, so it'll take a little while for the order, but they take your phone number and they call you when it's ready. And if not, after 10, 15 minutes, I'll go in and check on it. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm settled now for a while since I ordered my food. How y'all doing today? No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. I'm not going to take very long today to talk with y'all. But before I get talking and get carried away, y'all, I want to say welcome to my channel. If this is your first time coming to my channel, <laughs> and welcome back. If you're coming back, <laughs> I appreciate and love all of you. I've been reading my comments, y'all, and it's funny that as the views go down because of the algorithm, I'm going to blame it on the algorithm, and from people just fail not checking out themselves what you're saying. A lot of people look at me on Facebook and Instagram. And more than likely, they're looking at the picture and judging by the title and not even clicking on the video and just hit the little like, you know, the little like button on Facebook and Instagram or wherever, or LinkedIn, and never actually uh, cut the video on and hear what I have to say. And even if they hear what I have to say, they want to always go and tell you what to say on your show. <laughs> it's my YouTube channel, y'all. It's free to anybody. Anybody who don't like what I say. It's free to start their own channel. And if you have your own channel, good for you. I'm not going to go on your channel and tell you what to do. You can't even go on any church, any church, anywhere. And tell a preacher what to say if they read the scriptures they're never going to read the whole chapter to anybody they're going to pick out certain verses that they want to apply because they're trying to teach you something and that's exactly what i did i on purpose read the scriptures the way i wanted to the other day the the ones that apply to the story i was trying to tell I'm a storyteller, y'all, so I'm going to tell my stories. And I thought that the allegory I used was perfect, especially when it comes to fear mongering. Uh, and if you have a sound mind. But y'all, there's so many people out there that loves to do this. And I'm reading from what? The Book of Oneness. The Book of Oneness. Because I've said more than one time, I'm not a member of any particular group. I'm a spiritual person. So this is the book from the Book of Oneness. And it's great principles shared by all religions. And this is page 134. Do not look for faults in others. It says the disease of men is that they neglect their own field and go to weed the field of others. And that 
what they require of others is great, while what they lay upon themselves is light. That's Confucianism. He who sees his own faults has no time to see the faults of others. That's Islam. Find, find faults with thyself rather than with others. That's Shintoism. Wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest dost the same thing, Christianity. How couldst thou forget thine own faults and busy thyself with the faults of others? But let behind. To attempt to correct another person's virtue while one's own virtue is clouded is to set one's own virtue a task for which it is inadequate. That's Taoism. Guys, I love y'all's comments, but it would be very amazing if people would actually listen to what I'm trying to say and comment on that and not just trying to prove a point of their own making that has nothing to do with what I was trying to discuss. It helps nobody, y'all. Free will was given to everybody, and that means everybody. Somebody tried to tell me that the motherland is not Africa, that the motherland is uh, Jerusalem. Y'all, I'm not going to argue with nobody about those kind of semantics. I'm African. My roots are African. I do have grafted on branches that was grafted on <clears throat> against the will of my ancestors because what? They were enslaved people, y'all. So yes, I have grafted on branches that's not Africa. But the roots, the majority of me, my core is African. I have DNA to prove it. I have paperwork to prove it. I'm only telling my story. Whatever story somebody else has to tell, they have every right to tell their story. Just for the record, guys, <clears throat> I have gone to Israel before in 2000, the year 2000. I went there with the group when I was a member of Higher Dimension in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It actually was a nice and uh, enjoyable, spiritually uplifting event. <clears throat> we got to visit <clears throat> biblical gardens. We got to visit the Ethiopian, uh, the Ethiopian Jews, their church, and got to learn about their history with Queen Sheba and King David. So it was real interesting. So that particular Bible story to me was coming alive through their, their mythology. But a lot of stuff is so political in Israel right now, y'all, that I don't even want to get involved in it right now. I do have friends that actually live in Israel right now that used to attend the congregation of the Tabernacle Israel with me when I lived in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And just remember, I'm 69. I've had lots of experiences with lots of different groups. So what I choose to share is strictly what I choose to share. And as a storyteller, I do have lots of stories. So it's not like I just don't know. <laughs> and the people, I think, that call themselves giving me advice might have never even stepped foot in Jerusalem or Israel at all. So all I can say is anybody who wants to travel anywhere, I encourage them to please travel and see the world. And if you want to relocate, relocate where your heart tells you 
to relocate wherever, whoever, however, whatever reason that's valid for you, go for it. Peace and blessings. I was pausing <clears throat> because it was a car next to me getting ready to move. But anyway, like I was saying, everybody has free will given to them by the Creator. So I don't understand how a simple human being <clears throat> can think that they have a right to tell somebody else what to believe and actually think that it's a fact instead of their only belief system. You know, I'm not here to argue with anybody or fight with anybody. If anybody doesn't like what I say, there's plenty of channels out there that's probably for them and they're free to go there. I am what? Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. I do not claim to be anything else but what I am. I am that I am and that, that's it. What you see is what you get. I'm not fake. I'm not doing this for any money. I don't get monetized for this. And guess what? I'm never going to try to be monetized. If I do organically become monetized, fine. I'll use it for Habasia projects anyway. So I'm fine, y'all. But I'm just speaking truth. And it says, speak truth. Do not clothe the truth with falsehood. Do not knowingly conceal the truth. That's Islam. Say what is true. Do thy duty. Do not swerve from the truth. Hinduism. A lie can annihilate a thousand truths. Ashante proverb, African wisdom. Sincerity is the way of heaven. And to think how to be sincere is the way of a man. Never was there one possessed of complete sincerity who did not move others. Never was there one without sincerity who was not able to move others. That's Confucianism. And I tell y'all what, I'm doing what I'm led to do And that's that. So, I'm going to wrap it up. And if you want to comment, please do. I don't people trying to tell you what to do. <laughs> y'all grown. Y'all do what y'all want. So, let me know. If it's somebody out there who think they want to be your daddy or your mama. <laughs> they think that somebody somewhere on high declared that they was a prophet of the new age to tell you what to do and take away your free will. So anyway, until next time, y'all, what? Peace. Peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.